Eric, got a minute? I have something to discuss. She saw me. <laughs> yes, boss, come in. Have a seat. I have just spoken to Ross Mann from the production floor. This is the third time you got the production schedule wrong. Can't you get it right? Look at the delays. As if she... Wait, let's see what she has to say. Maybe there's something that can help me to improve. Do you know what a wrong schedule means to production? Please go on, boss. I'm listening. First, you spend extra downtime retooling the machine. And we waste money, waste resources, and waste time. Don't you get it? If the company loses money, you don't get bonuses. She's a nag. But what she's saying is that it was my mistake that led to the extra downtime. And that's true. So what is it that you don't understand about production scheduling? I think I see where you're coming from. Am I right to say that because I scheduled the wrong product for deadline, uh, it has resulted in longer machine downtime and a last-minute change in raw material requirement? That's right. So it has affected the production efficiency and therefore raised operating costs. Absolutely. These mistakes are happening far too frequently. Three times in two months is unacceptable. I think we have to get things right. This is not entirely my fault. However, I should not argue. I should just focus on how to work around it. So Eric, figure out what you did wrong and don't make the same mistakes again. Yes, boss. I see how a wrong schedule can make a much bigger implication than I originally thought. Um, let me think about it and see how I can work with Sabrina and Ramesh to make the scheduling right. Do that! I know it's difficult to work with various departments. Disruption happens. However, to do your job well, you have to work around it. Thank you so much for the feedback, boss. Really appreciate it. Let me work towards overcoming this issue. Thank you.